when you need my bed. I'm here when you need my bed. So in today's video, I'm going to be going into detail in all things associated with the EGR system on the Ford Ranger PX series. So anything from the PX1, which is 2012, up to 2020, which is when the PX3 finished. So if you own any one of those model Ford Rangers, there's a good chance that your intake manifold looks exactly like this, which is, as you can see, it's coated in like a sooty substance which is a mixture of exhaust gas and oil and how this is formed in your intake is, is you have this pipe sitting down here and what it does it pumps exhaust gases into the intake manifold and then that mixes with your fresh air coming up through the intercooler pipe that's already got a mixture of oil in it when that mixes together that's what gives you that substance that you find in the intake manifold so here we have the uh part or a section of the intake manifold and how it essentially works is that there which is your exhaust gases sits in there and what it does if we look at it from this side in there hopefully you can see that what it does it just pumps the exhaust gases straight in there and then it goes down and into the intake manifold so how do you stop this from happening well the easiest and simplest way is to buy yourself an EGR delete cable now this one is not from an actual Ranger, this is one that I just had laying around. But how this works is essentially it plugs into your plug here that goes to the airflow meter. And what you do, you just plug it into one end and then plug it into your airflow meter like that. And what it does, it tricks the signal to the EGR valve and keeps it closed at all times. So if we just look at it from this perspective here, you've got your EGR valve that sits down here. And when that's closed, it'll prevent any exhaust gases from flowing up into here and going straight down your intake manifold. So the second option you have is to install an EGR blanking plate, which sits at the back of your exhaust manifold, which is all the way down there. So I have done a video on how to install that and I'll throw a link in the top right hand corner right now. But this is a more of a sort of complex method, if you call it that. Um, there is a lot more labor involved. You've got to sort of slide it in there, get to the back of that exhaust manifold. That is tight access down there. So it's, it is a bit of work, but it is a more permanent fix, and that is what I run. And just keep in mind, all this information that I'm telling you is for a PX1 Ford Ranger. So anything from 2012 to 2015, this will work on. With the new models, with the PX2 and PX3, I'm not 100% sure it's that straightforward. I think you might have to get the computer actually programmed once you do that. Otherwise, you may throw up a fault code. And if someone's done that, if you want to throw a comment in the... Um, comment section that would be really great but from what i know all this information i'm telling you at the moment is for the px1 only so should you run a catch can to stop all the soot and that from building up in your intake manifold well the answer to that is actually no because all a catch can is going to do is just stop the oil from mixing in with the intake air it's not actually going to stop from the gases the exhaust gases from building up in your intake manifold it might slow the process down but the catch can never actually catches 100% of the oil. It might grab like 60, 70%, but you're still gonna get some oil residue coming through and mixing in with your exhaust gases, which is gonna cause that. The only sort of permanent solution is by actually installing a blanking plate or running an EGR cable, which actually stops the gas from entering into the intake system. So therefore my advice would be to actually, if you are running a blanking plate or if you are running a cable, to not run a catch can because what you'll actually find is the oil that's circulating in your intake manifold will actually clean the intake automatically for you because modern oils run a detergent in them i think you know general sort of oils have about 15 to 20 percent of additives in them and some of those additives include cleaning like detergents that the oils are actually made up of and actually clean the engine inside and when those oils actually pass through the intake manifold and make their way through the intake system, they actually slowly clean all this soot and that that you have built up in the intake manifold when they do that. So you'll find that once you actually put your cable in or once you put your blanking plate in, after about 20 or so thousand kilometers, you'll find that your intake will actually be reasonably clean. So you're probably asking yourself, well, why do you run a catch can? And yes, that is correct. I do run a catch can. But the reason why I run it is for completely different purposes to why you might run one. 
Um, the reason why I run one is because this engine's done 355,000 kilometers. So that's a fair few kilometers. And it is starting to get a little bit of blow-by, not a lot, just a little bit. And what I was finding is with that blow-by, it was actually causing a few little weeps around the intake manifold. So instead of replacing those seals on the intake manifold, I just decided to install the catch can. So now the majority of the oil gets caught in that catch can and doesn't weep from the intake manifold. So that's gonna be a wrap up for this video. I hope you found it informative in some way. Just to conclude, I've had a blanking plate in here for probably about 200,000 kilometers now and its motor's been running perfectly. Um, no issues with it whatsoever. Fuel consumption is probably about eight or nine liters per hundred and that's with 33s. And intake manifold is always perfectly clean. No buildup whatsoever in there. Engine runs mint and it's been a really good, reliable car. I hope you've got some information out of this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next video.